So, my new DIY CNC is ready. I have used linear rays, 15 millimeters, with a servo closed loop motor. As you can see, the construction is made in aluminium, 12 millimeters, aluminium, 12 millimeters on the side. We have four linear blocks on the side. As you see, I have an 800 watt spindle motor because it's for small work. The working area is 450 by 460, but you can put in the length as long as you want. We have home switches on the Y axis and the A axis for squareness. We have on the Z axis and on the X axis homing. So I built everything myself. As you can see, and I use for the electronics the control box. I use, we're gonna open the AXBBA with uh, UCNC software. I have the VFD for the spindle, but I put on the front so we can see everything on the front. I have four, three buttons for the control board, for the servo because they need 36 volt and to arm the spindle. We have an emergency stop also. Inside, we have here the 36 volt power supply and a 24 volt power supply. One converter to 5 volt because the controller needs 24 and 5 volt. And everything on the cables is connected so you can mount it like you want so now i'm gonna start the machine the first thing i will do is the switch for the control board and arm the servo motors so you can see the servo motors are armed and the control board is armed, only the spindle is off. We're gonna start your CNC software. Okay, it's coming. The first thing I need to do is push the reset button. And in the settings, my settings are all done. As you can see, we have also the axis with the pen connections, the limit switches, 
the homing speed on the homing speed down but the speed to adjust exactly the homing we have also the X the Y the Z and the A and in the Y we have the A axis in slave mode but the A axis have its own limit switch port so when homing we have two different homings for the Y axis and the Y A axis so that we have squareness of the machine now I'm gonna sh show some movements I'm gonna put 50 and as you can see I got the Z axis everything is working very smoothly the X and the Y axis Now I will do the homing of all the axes. So the first thing he will do is the Z axis. As you can see, the down is slower than the X. And the Y axis. So, and on the same time, the A-axis is now square. I have also a normal probe to use, so I will show you that. The first thing, I'm gonna move a little bit the X and the Y. And I'm going down. I put my probe underneath. So that's ready. And now I'm gonna hit the probe button. Here you have to put the thickness of your material. So I do nothing for the moment. So I have OK. And now I have to first touch and now. slow and now the machine is home so I gonna do the X and the Y as zero so if I push now the button go to zero so and you will see it's exactly you see, if I move 
a little bit. So the probe is also working fine. As you can see, everything is working nice. As you can see also, when I start the spindle, the FFD is now started. I can see everything here. So I gonna do this 12,000, hit enter. And now I'm going to do spindle clockwise. And that's 12,000 RPM. And I can put push the button counterclockwise and as you can see it's also going counterclockwise normally you don't need that but you never know and as you can see we have the RPM here at the front of the box. I have also ventilation in my box. So that's my machine. Next time I will do some cutting and facing. Thanks for watching.